channel, I'm doing another exciting video, which actually we've done before. We did it last year. So I'm gonna do it again this year, and it is the cheap versus expensive Halloween costumes. So basically what I do is I take two different costumes that are the same costume, I guess you could say, but one is cheap and one is expensive, and I try them on, see how they fit, how they look, and how they turn out, basically just overall. But before we get on to this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel by clicking that red button down below. And yeah, let's get on to this video. All right, so first I have the Ringmaster from Greatest Showman. So this is like the main guy. I'm pretty sure it's Hugh Jackman that is like this character, but it's a super great movie. But I have the cheap version right here. And just looking at this, you can kind of tell that it was not that expensive. Just from the hat, I don't, this just basically is like cloth. Like there's literally nothing to this, but just like a hat. So, and I, oh, it doesn't really fit me either. Oh my. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna have to work with that one. And then it came with a jacket. And this actually, I feel like they did a good job of making this look like a nice jacket when you're far away. When you're up close, you can obviously tell that it's not that like, not very expensive, it's like plastic. So when you're far away, like the fabric that they use actually looks pretty nice. So I feel like this could like maybe pull off for like a nice Halloween costume. But then you get to whatever this is. <laughs> Is this just a waffle cone? I'm very confused. It kind of just looks like ice cream. So, yeah, and they didn't even come with like a shirt underneath this. Like, you know how he has like a button up? Yeah, I just kind of have this. So I might have to wear a shirt underneath this. I'm not really sure yet how this is gonna work until I put it on. So we're gonna have to see how this turns out. And then of course it came with pants, but they kind of just look like sweatpants. I'm kind of scared to wear these a little bit. These do not look like my size at all. I think I could fit my whole body into this, so that is great. <laughs> Okay, so now I have the expensive version, and just looking at this from the, uh, just first, what do they call first uh, impressions? There you go. I actually kind of think this jacket doesn't look as nice as the other ones. For some reason, the fabric to me, like more the velvet, looks nicer than just this kind of straight fabric that it has. I don't know if it'll fit different once it's on, but just from looks, I think the other one actually looks nicer. And this one still has plastic buttons, so it's not like really fancy except for there is some nice detailing on here which even matches I think the costume from the movie so that might make a, a good point towards it so we'll have to see on how it looks on but it did come with an actual shirt which I'm excited about so I have an actual shirt to wear just a nice button down and a vest which I actually think this vest does look nice it looks a lot nicer than the other one and the, just the fabric, is it's like a, it's a lot softer texture, so I think it'd be more comfortable to wear. Plus this detailing makes it look a lot nicer and a lot more legit than the ice cream cone that we had earlier. So that's pretty nice. And it came with a tie, so that matches the costume as well. And pants, these look more like pants than the other ones. The other ones literally just look like sweatpants, but they're not the nicest pants that I've seen ever. They're not like tux material, they're more just kind of like fabric if you can hear it so I mean it's fine for like a night for Halloween but I wouldn't suggest wearing these to like church or anything like that I have this hat just a top hat this one is way nicer than the cheap one because it doesn't actually like bend wait it actually like fits so <laughs> it actually stays on my head fairly well so there you go I feel like a real ringmaster Rapunzel. This is just the classic Rapunzel from the Disney movie. So it's been around for a little bit, but I wanted to try this one just to see the difference between a nice costume and a cheap one because they have just like a very broad spectrum. On one side you can get just like a cheap one from like a kid's store or something like that. And then you can get like legitimate Disney costumes. So right here I have the cheap one and you can obviously tell that this is on the left hand of the scale. It's not very nice material. It's pretty cheap. It's just like something you would get for a kid for I mean, just for fun dress up. But I think we have a few of these as like uh, Merida and some other of the Disney princesses in on our dress up bin out there for Paisley. 
but this one would definitely fit in very nicely. This kind of looks like it's gonna be a little bit small. <laughs> So we're gonna have to see. Also, I don't know if this has a wig or not. So psych, I forgot that there is a wig that goes with this. And it's just not that great of a wig. If you like, if you look at it, the color says that it's blonde, but this honestly looks more like white to me, or it has like a pink undertone, which I'm very confused where that's coming through. But it, they did like try to get some ribbon in there. I think this is for like a different costume, but you know, same thing, <laughs> right? The gold at least makes it look kind of rapunzel -y, I guess you could say. And it is long, so they got that aspect of it. Let's go try to put this on. Okay, so now I have the expensive Rapunzel, and just from looking at this, you can tell it is a way nicer version of Rapunzel. This one did come with a wig as well, and this one's actually blonde, and it has like a braid in it and some little flowers. So I would say that this one is a win. We're gonna have to see when it looks, how it looks when it's on, because sometimes wigs can look funky when they're on your head. But from what I can see right now, it's actually looking pretty nice. So. That's the wig, but the costume, just when you look at it straight away, you can tell the fabric is way nicer. There's a lot of detailing, like there's lace at the bottom, there's like five kajillion layers here. But just look at it, it just looks super nice. There's just a little tie in the back. Like just the detail on this is so crazy. So I'm gonna say that this one's probably the nicest one that I've seen so far, and I think it'll look the best one to start. but not, wait, that's the least. No, wait, not the least. Well, it's a cheap one, so I guess it is kind of least. But my last costume is Vanellope Von Sweets from Wreck-It Ralph 2. I'm excited to see this movie. I'm excited to see everything in it, all the princesses and stuff, I'm super excited. So, I have the cheap one right here. Just looking at this, it's not super nice. These leggings, I guess you wouldn't even really call them leggings. They're kind of just a piece of fabric. Like, it's pretty see-through already. So, <laughs> that's great. And they're very stretchy. But I'm not really sure how they're gonna look when they're on. I mean, look at this. That's supposed to be your torso, I guess. That's a really long torso. So those are the leggings. And then we have this skirt. And I just had a quick debate on whether this is actually the right color. And we actually couldn't decide if the real color is supposed to be brown or black. I think it's actually supposed to be like a dark, dark brown. So I still think this is the wrong color either way. But I'm not really sure, so comment down below if you guys think the skirt color of actual Vanellope Von Sweets is brown or black because I have no idea. But this is the skirt, and I actually kind of think this is like the nicest part of this costume so far. Like I think from far away, you know, it kind of looks well put together, right? From really far, maybe? I don't really know. <laughs> so that's the skirt. And then we have the jacket that she has. She always wears this like hoodie. You know, this one actually looks pretty close to the movie. It has little ties right here that she has on hers and right here. So the fabric isn't the nicest that I've ever seen, but I think it could still pass as a Halloween costume. And last but not least, we have the wig. I actually laughed because it's like a knockoff wig, I guess you could say, because the name of it is Candy Girls, not even Penelope Von Sweet. So basically what they did with this, it looks like they just cut out little pieces of colored whatever you call that, and they just like glued it onto the hair. So I feel like they could have put a little bit more effort into it, but I mean, this still gets across the point that it's supposed to be candy or colored stuff in her hair. So I guess it might look the same from far away anyway. So I don't really know. Let's go try it on. expensive version of Vanilla Kivon Sweets with me and so far just this, this skirt within itself is like way nicer than the other one. This actually feels like a legit skirt that you would actually buy. It kind of looks um, like my charter school skirt that I had to wear when I was in elementary school and I went to the charter school. So this actually I would say is like kind of legit, like it's actually nice. But then these leggings, they're actually, wait, these are actually kind of nice too. They're very soft. They're not like normal legging material, they're a little bit thicker almost. I guess Halloween it's cold, so you probably want something thicker, so this might be nice and warm. 
And then we have the jacket. This to me looks pretty similar to the cheap one. I think the color is a little bit different. This one might be more accurate to the actual costume. Um, but they did they did the same stitching thing. So this to me doesn't really make a difference. It it might be a little bit thicker. So but then the wig is really what I think makes the difference. This has actual candy in it. I guess not actual candy, but fake candy. It's not just little circles that they cut out. And I like the variety that it has. It has like peppermints, gummy bears, little stars, circles, lots of different stuff. And I like this little thing that it has on here that you can bend it kind of to the shape that you want. So I think this one will make it look overall a lot nicer than the other one. Let's go try it on. watching this video if you guys liked it make sure you leave a comment down below saying which costume was your favorite and also make sure you guys check out my other videos by clicking over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button that is somewhere on the screen I never know where to point but somewhere around here and I will see you guys next week bye